Hi guys, welcome back. I hope that you are all okay. So this week we're doing Are You Guys Destined to Be Together? And we'll go and have a look at the cards in a second. Just wanted to update you with a few things. So um, I've stopped taking video bookings by the time you're getting this. Um, I'm starting maternity leave on the 6th of November. Um, you will, if, I'm still going to do email questions and voice voice questions up until the, the 5th of November. So if you do need me for a quick turnaround, 24 to 48 hours, um, I will be doing them till the 5th of November. But video readings, that's it, capped, done. Got a massive, massive wait list I've got to work my way through. Um, maternity leave wise, I have recorded a bunch of videos for you that I'm gonna put out each week, probably on the same day, the Thursday. There isn't going to be one on the 18th of November. Now, I know you're like, God, that's miles away. <laughs> You'll think that the the cesarean is booked in for the 17th of November. I told you before, I can't have a natural birth due to my spinal condition. So um, on the 18th of November, it's the Thursday. There will be no video reading that week. Um, but the week after, I will update you on how we are. Um, if you haven't followed us on Instagram or Facebook, please do that because I will put more updates on there than I will do on YouTube. Um, hoping to have about 16 weeks off oh my god <laughs> 16 weeks off um, and then potentially returning to one day a week back at work but I will keep you posted on that as well so in short um no more video readings they're all fully booked and um if you want email readings um 24 to 48 hour turnaround or, or voice readings 24 to 48 hour turnaround um follow us on instagram and facebook and I will be stopping the video readings, email readings on the 5th of November. That's the last day. Remember, remember the 5th of November. That's it. Okay, so let's get going. We're doing Are You Destined to Be Together? This is a bit of a weird one, okay? Because we obviously all have free will. And you can choose and pick and change um, what you decide to do with your own free will. You are completely at liberty to choose whether you want to be with your person or not. But... This energy coming forward of are you destined to be together is quite strong. So I thought we're going to go and have an explore with that. Now we've got two brand new decks. Oh my God, two brand new decks. It was a tarot conference the other week and I could only do it online this year. Next, I've already got my deposit down for next year um, in Kensington. I um, already got my deposit down for that. Um, but I ended up buying a new deck. So this one is the Arthurian tarot which has a beautiful place in my heart, being um, pagan, being druid, um, and also having strong connection to Glastonbury, deck number one. And this one is the Mystical Medleys Tarot, I think. Mystical Medleys Tarot is what I want to say. I haven't got the box. Yeah, I have. Mystical Medleys, deck number one, deck number two. Pick your deck. So think about you and think about your person. And as you're doing that, feel the energy drawing to the, ooh, going to the deck that you are most drawn to. But I felt that you'd already done it, deck number one. Okay, so let's go. Let's see what comes up. So just going to go into all your energies, all your people's energy and pull out the strongest uh, connection between you all. A bit like how we worked out the, the average of mass at school when you add all the numbers and you come up with the neutral number. It's like that. That's how I work with collective readings. Okay, think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes? And or possibilities, probabilities, chances, chances, and changes. Oh, that was something else I wanted to ask you guys as well. Um, I'm going to do a Halloween sewing so, so uh, special. In inverted brackets. Got me little pumpkins. Um, I'll put a video at the end of this actually with Poppy and the pumpkin because it was dead adorable. Um, <laughs> and I know a lot of you are saying, "Where's Poppy?" I'll um, I'll put a video of you and her exploring a pumpkin at the end of this video for you. Totally forgot my mind chat then when I was talking about poppy and pumpkins. Um, so what my guide's kind of urging to do and what someone has suggested for the channel is to have a look at messages from your ancestors. When it comes to Samhain, it is the time of year when we are closest, the veil is thinnest between the two worlds and it's quite a nice time to connect up with your ancestors. So I thought we could do some ancestral linea lineage and ask them what they feel about you and your person that you are connecting with. Now, there is a little bit of a flip side to that, is that... Our ancestors are, an, are are quite different from spirit guides. Spirit guides are very non-judgmental 
it's kind of very like relaxed and calming and guiding and nice. Your ancestors um, have been there, done that, got the t-shirt and they can sometimes be a little bit judgmental on things. Um, so you just need to learn awareness of that. But that's what I was thinking for the Halloween special. Unless any of you guys have got any different ideas and if you have, pop them in the description for me. In the comments, not the description. Pop them in the comments. Our deck number one and their people destined to be together. Let's see what we got. Are they destined to be together? I love this deck. It's um, it really does connect me to our lineage, especially being um, a Brit. A Brit. Five. I'm just gonna get two more. I mean, I'm not full up on the story of King Arthur, to be honest. I don't really know massive. I just had a crow fly past. Crows are one of my my spirit animals, and. I have the window open here, especially because I can't really walk at the moment because I've got SPD. So when I look out the window and I see the crows, it's, it's a nice reminder that the Morrigan is still around. Okay, yeah, I don't know much about the King Arthur story, to be honest, just what uh, the storybooks have told me, obviously. Um, so let's have a look. Let's go a bit deeper. You and your person, are you destined to be together? The first thing that's kind of coming forward with this deck is that there is a shining light on the situation. OK, so you guys might have been in a bit of a dark place with regard to the connection that you're feeling like things haven't particularly moved forward with you both. Um, and you've been struggling. Spirit saying you've been struggling with the energy of you and them. And you're wondering whether it's worth the time, whether it's worth the grafting, whether this connection is actually worth your time and energy. Now, what's coming forward over here that it, it is the sense of there being a bit of a battle. Not so much a battle of wheels, but a battle of where the connection is going. Your person is acting one way, you are acting the other way. And it's like there's no middle ground between you guys at this point in time. And that's why your head is getting quite baffled by it all. Um, but when the spirit is saying that there's kind of like a light shining down on it, even though you're being baffled by the connection, the light is signifying that there is going to be some kind of breakthrough coming forward. And that's where they're, they're kind of showing me the light coming in from the right, um, light from the right as a waxing moon, which means that there is um, progression routes coming forward, okay? So light from the right, waxing moon, moving, okay? Um, with the regard to the connection, you've got this pathway that the two of you have been exploring. Um, and this pathway is kind of like Spirit is saying an open-ended trail. So you are working your way towards a future with one another but it is kind of meandering a little bit and i just saw with that and got um po contest just around the river bend remember that it's this meandering trail that it's going to be feeling like it's going backwards and forwards a little bit but your end destination is there so the potential for the two of you to be destined to be together is strongly in your cards it's there now, like I said, you've all got free will and you can make your own choices and decisions. Um, but with what they're saying and the light from the right, there is this movement and chances of the progression routes happening between you both. You've also got this little, the water is symbolising the emotions. There is turmoil with regard to this. It's not an easy road for you to travel. Um, and this is why Gawain is coming forward with you guys as well. Now, Gawain um, is symbolising the card of strength. OK, so you've got this meandering energy going on with you guys. You've got this rocky emotions, but you've also got the strength that comes from that. And you will find with this, with you and your relationship, that it's not so much about the destination. It is more about the journey, which you're going to love me saying. Um, but what this means is it's more likely to be a divine connection between you guys. It's more likely to be um, a twin flame or higher vibrational soulmate connection. A, a bit more of a, a kind of complicated energy happening with you guys. And this is why strength is coming forward. But again, we have light from the right coming into your cards. Feeling a little bit burdened by it. Unsure on what pathway you should be taking. You're wondering, is this something that I just cut off or is it something that I carry on? Again, the pathway is here. You can keep seeing on all of these cards that there is a pathway. Okay, pathways and pathways, even through these kind of rocky mountains. Well, 
tools really you've got the pathways coming forward um it's just that it's like i said it's a bit of a longer destination you've got the two crows coming over here symbolizing the transformation between you and your person so the further you go down the journey the more the relationship is going to transform with you guys for you to get what it is that you want you've got the ace of swords coming up over here which means there's going to have to be a need to cut through all the bullshit that you guys have been experiencing um and it's going to be kind of going back to that essence of who you initially are. It's going to be a lot of um, more divine connection work going on. You're probably doing a lot of internal work at the moment. Um, probably doing some spiritual telepathy, dreams, etc, etc. All of that coming through this deck. And again, the reason for that is because it is a more divine connection. We've got this end destination. I like over here with the flag on it. Got this end destination. Again, pathway a pathway. Now with the mists coming up over here, I don't know how many of you have read The Mists of Avalon. Amazing book, especially like I said, as being a Glastonbury girl, absolutely amazing book. Um, what happens when The Mists of Avalon clear is that you can see Avalon. Now up until that point, it's all a bit cloudy and all you can see is Glastonbury. When the mists clear, you go and see Avalon. Now this is kind of coming up with your connection between the two of you as well. So you have this mist surrounding your connection and the reason why is because it's such a spiritual connection that once you get to your end goal, again, seeing the end goal at the end of it, um, you will notice this kind of progression route between the two of you and these mists will clear. So again, more about the, the journey than about the destination. You've got a lot of kind of leaving things behind in the past that's coming up as well. Um, you guys have both been wounded and it is almost this kind of sense of I need to set the past free, both of you, whether it's with one another or things that happened before the two of you met. Um, we have this connection of needing to release the past and surrender it. That's coming forward over here. Um, but the other thing that I really do like on this card is the last card that you've got is the two of cups, which is your, your kind of true love card. Again, light coming in from the right. Things are going to be revealed to you. The, the connection is going to be revealed to you. And I feel that, like, you know, when we're looking at the decks as, as a whole and you've got the mists and you've got the trails and you've got the pathways, there is this sense of revolution. There is this sense of reflection and there is this sense of progression coming forward with you guys. And again, a spirit are reiterating, it isn't so much about the destination. It's more about the journey. You two are in this and, and it's kind of, I just got... Um, going back to some drum and bass you just got pendulum fastening your seatbelt um you two are in there's a seatbelt going over so spirit just did they just grabbed me at my seatbelt and clocked it in um you guys are in this for the long haul in the long haul um, and it is going to take strength and it is going to take endurance the same but the progression routes are there and it is possible for you guys let the universe kind of navigate this for you when we try to control things, sometimes we can really stop the energy flowing and growing around us. So do go with the flow of it. Know that the pathways are here for you. The mists are going to clear. You're going to get some answers as well, they're saying. And this will come from the mists clearing. When those mists clear, you're going to start to see things from a different perspective. And that's not in a negative light. That's in a light of love. And that's why the Two of Cups is coming down here. Okay, seeing the light, seeing the love progressing things forward two lovebirds spirit are saying um and with that as well i just got bob marley uh three little birds sat on my doorstep sing sweet songs of many peace pure and true saying this is my message to you it's there okay progression rates love the connection don't worry about a thing because every little thing is going to be all right and i love that i love that so yeah so you and them and destiny it's a case of riding the waves, riding the emotions, gathering strength, letting the universe guide you, seeing through the light, fighting the shadows um, and progressing through your more divine connection. Do use the tools and abilities that you were gifted with when you come down to earth. Remember, um, as divine relationships go, it's really kind of you've got all the tools and abilities that you need to, to move things forward. So just be aware of that. You got it, okay? And that is that number one. So, uh, yeah, so as I said, I can't really say if you need me, I'm here. Um, <laughs> um, I've stopped taking video readings uh, now, stop taking the, the payments for that. Any money that you send for video readings, I will refund back into your account now. Um, I am going to still do email readings up until the 5th of November. 
and then after that that's it cut off and um, that is when I am going to start maternity leave I've pre-recorded a bunch of public readings for you each week and I will do updates on them for how me and baby are getting on um stay up to date on Instagram and Facebook for the bits in between like if you want to see the baby pictures and how we're doing and what's happening and I'll probably leave you a few voice messages or, or um voice messages video messages I'll probably leave you a few of them um no video reading on the 18th of November because obviously I'm still going to be in hospital and um, so I am not going to be looking at me my uh, laptop to put a video out for you and that's it okay my beauties I love you all to pieces uh, I will see you next week for the Halloween special let me know again if you yeah, if you want the ancestral reading or if you're interested in something perhaps a little bit different like why are they ghosting you or um last year we did is your relationship gonna rise from the dead and um, so any ideas just just shout it in the comments below all right guys tons of love to you ciao hi guys so deck number two so this is the brand new deck this is the mystical medley deck deck, not deck. um going into all your energy or your people's energy when we talk about destiny if you guys are destined to be together um destiny obviously can be a bit of a difficult one because you do have free will so we're going more down that energy of are you guys going to align to have a future um, but destiny is very working with okay so think about your person for me can we get into your person's thoughts feelings energy emotions and thought processes um i'm no longer doing private readings before i go on maternity private video readings i am still doing email readings um up until this the 5th or 6th of november my video readings are fully booked so if you do need me um and you want to do it over email or voice message on instagram or facebook just give me a shout my out of office will go on on the 6th of november okay can you tell me is deck number two destined to be with their person other things i need to tell you um i was talking in the last in the last in deck number one card deck number one um about halloween sewing um going to do a reading on your ancestors if that is what you want but if you have any ideas any other ideas other than messages from the ancestors just write them in the comments um and we can if there's a lot we can we can take it to pulp okay are they destined to be together deck number two are they destined Um, yeah, I don't know who, you, I think it was Fleetwood Matt. Fleetwood Matt, Dreams, coming up. And I think The Cause did a version of it, do you remember that? The, the Cause, God, going back to the 90s. Are they destined to be together? Right, energy is aligning, let's have a look what we've got. So the first thing that the cards are kind of showing me, um, is the moon and the star you know i quite like that because straight off the bat when i was saying to you um about destiny and free will etc etc you have a bit of an alignment of your energies going on over here on a kind of astrological thing so energies aligning yes it is here for you um it's been a little bit guided like it's kind of like set by the stars and i know that sounds a little bit whimsical and a little bit like oh you know it, the stars will lead the way but that's the kind of message that is coming forward and i've just seen um a clairvoyant of you know um a boat we're going back really <laughs> obviously you know what a boat is um but when they used to follow the northern star to kind of get to where they wanted to go um and the same with you know baby jesus how in Christianity they said the wise men followed the star to get to where they needed to be and this is the energy that is coming forward with you guys it's this kind of being guided by the stars being directed in the pathway that you should be going and an alignment of your energies there is a very very strong connection happening between you both and it's a little bit um temperamental is probably the right word we've also kind of got this rocking each other's world energy coming forward and i quite like that as well so being guided by the stars and rocking each other's world those are the kind of the first two messages that are coming forward from this deck we've got this shadow energy coming up as well that perhaps there's been difficult times going on with you guys um but it does look as if you know you are predominantly heading towards where you want to be with your person 
there's a heaviness and a sadness coming forward with this but like i said following the stars being on the right path quite an, an intense message coming forward to begin with and also with spirit giving you the messages of, of dreams i'm sure it's for you and matt um with that message coming forward it's a very nighttime energy happening with you guys now it's beautiful that at night time this is when obviously we fall asleep and this is when our, our bodies kind of relax and, and calm down so you might find that your dreams are really signifying a lot of the spiritual connection between you guys at the moment you will find in your dreams that if the dream is really really vivid colors and really really vivid in your memory this is where it's going to be a, a, a spiritual dream. The other thing that happens in spiritual dreams is if you are connecting with your person on that basis, you will not see their lips moving. You will see them more through telepathy. OK, so you'll you'll know what they're saying through the thought process. Um, now, my partner's grandma came to my partner in his dream with a baby name for us. And he said to me, he said, I said, I couldn't see. I saw her. He said, but I couldn't see her mouth moving. And I was like, yes, that is that's what we think we'll call the baby so you can really see that kind of spiritual energy coming forward when we go into sleep our brains start working on delta and theta brain waves which is the easiest way that spirit communicate with us and it's the same with divine connections when you go to sleep you and your person can connect with one another on a delta theta basis on a 5d dimensional basis as well and that will bring it forward the purest and most significant messages towards you and that's coming forward with you guys very divine connection now there is love over here very very strong love for you um they do have very strong emotions and they do have dreams and ideas about the two of you coming together in a relationship they're actually feeling quite calm over the connection with you they know that maybe in the past they've been a bit of a fill in the blank <laughs> i was gonna swear um you can fill in the blank with that they know that they perhaps haven't handled things right but at this point in time they're really looking towards you and seeing a future and again you've got this very strong divine guidance coming forward at the top over here you're being looked after and the cup is full and i don't know how many of you have ever done yoga but in yoga um especially kind of in pregnancy yoga it's kind of all about the cup okay this is your cup this is your your power um, and it connects really well with your yoni so the yoni being the symbolism of the womb especially with us going to sawin at the moment it's working a lot with fire energy it's working a lot with womb energy so there's a great expansion going on with you and your person at this point in time the cup the womb the emotions all in your energy um, and the womb the womb of you and your person's relationship is showing that there is great potential happening between you both. Now, the block for the majority of you, and again, it's a collective reading, the block is circumstances. So it could be person's work. It could be third party. Um, if it's third party, you would know about it. OK, so if they are with someone else, you would know that um, if they're not with someone else, it could be that perhaps other people are influencing the situation like family or friends. Um, also, sometimes it can be other things like addiction, energy, alcohol, drugs, sitting there with the lads or the girls, you know, party, party, party. That energy coming forward with you guys. OK, so it looks to be more circumstances at the moment for deck number two, why you guys aren't merging your energies together. Perhaps they've made choices that have made this go this way. And this is what's blocking it. This is what's blocking the connection. But again, when we go past these blocks and we work past these blocks, we have this potential again for you and your person to move together. A lot more stability and security coming forward from this. Imolk coming forward february time quite an important time for you and your person just as the lambs uh, just as the sheep started giving birth to lambs this is a beautiful time of year to bring into you what you want and again going back to that womb and that fertile energy february and imok is really really important for the birthing of ideals so really do spend the next few months manifesting this into your reality and um, i can fit in a couple of manifesting plans for you guys actually if you want them before the 5th of november so give me a shout if you do want them um manifesting bringing it into your reality now the one card kind of lingering upside down is strength and i, I kind of like that okay your person has been, like I said, a little bit blasé, not really giving you much about the connection and the grounding of it all. Um, but there is a surrender of this strength that comes from it. Your person's actually going to start showing you this more vulnerable side to them that perhaps they haven't done before. And that vulnerability 
can lead to them changing their circumstances or the, or the circumstances surrounding you both. It doesn't have to just be their circumstances. It can change the circumstances, which then can move the situation forward for you. The biggest energy over here is this progression of movement. Um, and it is here. There is movement for progression. But it's just that circumstances have got to change around you and your person first. And if that happens, then you two can absolutely be destined to be together. But circumstances are just holding it back. It's more earthly constraints, circumstances. We know spiritually that the two of you are in alignment. You'll probably find spiritually that the two of you are already um, in said form of union. But on an earthly level, the circumstances are blocking it. Unfortunately, how to get away from the blocks, the triangle over here symbolising protection really coming forward. And um, I don't know if any of you have ever looked at sacred geometry. That's kind of interesting energy to be having a look at with you both. Um, I say that as I'm touching my, my, I don't even know what this is called. I got it in Glastonbury. Um, I got it from the Buddhist temple in Glastonbury and it's, it's all to do with sacred geometry and it's got all the colours of the shape, you can't see it. It's got all the colours of the chakras um, and it's got magnets and things like that. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. But I don't know what they're called. Um, <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Um, it's absolutely beautiful and it, they're just really kind of drawing me to the sacred geometry of your relationship with you and your person. So this is suggesting as well there's probably quite a few past lives with you guys. Um, really really strong energy alignment going on with you both you know so are you destined to be together with the right alignment and the stars aligning and again they just showed me the boat going towards a star with the right alignment of your energy you are destined to be together but circumstances have got to change first and circumstances will change through your alignment with your person and that is deck number two. Okay, so if you need me, like I said, not doing video readings anymore. They're fully booked. Um, I will still be doing email and voice uh, note recordings till the 5th of November. Um, remember remember the 5th of November, Guy Fawkes Night in England. Um, and then I'll be starting maternity on the 6th. Bunch Pre-recorded a bunch of videos for you. I will keep you updated. There will be no video reading on the 18th of November because I'm still going to be in hospital. Um, no video reading that week and then I will just update you each week as we go along and let you know when I'm kind of getting back to readings and how me and the baby are doing. I will also put pictures and things like that on Instagram and Facebook for you uh, so if you need me just give me a shout. I'm also going to put a video now of Poppy at the end of this with a pumpkin because everyone is asking how Poppy is. She's doing super good, um, very, very camera shy. You know, when I lived at the, the, the flat, it was all right because she would just wander in with all her toys and her bears and everything like that. But now we're here, there's no space for her to walk really. Um, so I end up putting her with the pumpkin, one of these. <laughs> she was like, what is it? What is that thing? I don't know what that is. And she started kind of messing around with it a little bit. So I will put that at the end of the video now. All right, my loves, I'll speak to you next week. Have a blessed one. Loves. I'm not for eating. <laughs> Oh, Foxy. <laughs>